Bonjour Berlin et j'adore Berlin. Potsdamerplatz in the heart of Berlin is a magnet for tourists. It has the coolest and the tallest buildings in the city. Back in the 1990s, Gerrit Engel photographed the area as it underwent rapid change. His book on Berlin architecture includes the Kohlhoff Tower, standing 103 meters tall, and the high-rise offices of the German railway operator Deutsche Bahn. Berlin is doubtless one of the most fascinating, if not the most fascinating cities for photographers interested in architecture. The Berlin Wall once ran right through Potsdamer Platz until everything changed in 1989. I think it was the night of November the 12th that the first segments of wall were removed here. And it was very clear that Potsdamer Platz had huge symbolic significance, not just for Germany, but the whole of Europe. Today, a few pieces of wall stand as a memorial. Visitors can get their passports stamped with a visa for former communist East Germany. And this one is the gate stamp from Potsdamer Platz, where you are right now. So, welcome to GDR, baby. Thank you, Danke. There you go. <laughs> it's a nice souvenir. The history is amazing. It's great. It's great. And it's, it's really alive and vibrant. The Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church is one of the most famous buildings in Old West Berlin. Right nearby, Berlin's luxury department store KDW, which is over a century old. Alexanderplatz was the center of former East Berlin with its monumental television tower. At 368 meters tall, it's the highest structure in Germany. Until 1989, the Brandenburg Gate was the symbol of divided Germany. Today, it's the symbol of reunification and a popular photo motif. East and West coming together. Another hit with visitors is the tours of the new government district, including the Chancellor's Office and the Reichstag, the historic parliament building. Since 1999, the Reichstag has once again been the seat of the German parliament. The glass dome designed by British architect Norman Foster attracts some three million tourists a year. I like uh, the, the culture. There are a lot of museums in, in, uh, in Berlin. Berlin has 3.4 million residents and over 175 museums. The most popular of them are located on the so-called Museum Island. The bust of the famous Nefertiti of ancient Egypt is one of the highlights. What makes the state museums here in central Berlin so unique is the collection of buildings that go with them. You have architecture of international importance on the one hand and then unique exhibits on the other. It was this combination that got us listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site back in 1999. I'm proud to say we're the only museum to have made the list. Another attraction is the East Side Gallery, an original 1.3 kilometer section of the Berlin Wall that's been painted by artists from all over the world. Arts and music have become something of a theme in the former border zone along the River Spree. Henrik Tidefjord, a Swedish tour guide, tells visitors why companies like Universal and MTV have set up shop here, along with stylish business hotels and hip new venues for all kinds of events. Berlin has become a new hub in the world uh, where artists and creative people are meeting here uh, because uh, rents are very cheap, uh, you have many possibilities, uh, it's a very strong networking, um, you have a lot of uh, space which you can use and that's, it's, it's pushing uh, the creative scene to a much higher level in comparison to other cities. A boat with a swimming pool offers visitors the chance for a nighttime dip, followed by a visit to one of the nearby clubs, which stay open all night. You can go to four or five different places in a night and just kind of hop from place to place. And I think there's all these myths around Berlin, but really the things are true, like it's freer, it's more open. Berlin 
ich liebe dich und du bist wunderbar. A view clearly shared by many. Du bist so wunderbar.